Welcome to today's class. So in today's class, we're going to be making this skirt. This skirt. Okay. I'm not going to be putting lining on it. Okay. So what we need is our fabric. We need a tape. Then we need a ruler, paper, marker, and of course my scissors. Now, I've gone ahead and cut my skirt. Okay, this is what the skirt looks like. This is what my skirt, this is the waist. Okay, this is what my skirt looks like. This is the waist area. And then I made some pleats on the sides. Okay, and this side, I folded it. I'm going to be sewing this edge. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I place it together waist to waist this is just what it looks like okay so what I have here I'm going to sew fold tape all the edges I'll tape this edge and then I will as well tape this edge all the way round all the way around till I get to this point and then all through to this point okay so I'm going to be showing us how I cut this then after taping it I'm going to attach my waistband I couldn't get a long straight strip so what I did was I cut bit by bit and then I'm going to be joining them I pin them up I'm going to be joining them okay so I'm going to show us how I cut this before I move into my sewing okay so what I did was this is my paper I folded it this way okay I hope you saw what I did this is my fabric okay I picked one edge and then I folded it like a triangle that's how I got the skirt okay and what I did was I will now have to measure my waist here so what I did was so what I did was I placed my waist measurement on a mark okay on this part now I got my waist okay let's say my waist you know this paper is small so let's say my waist was 12 inches I marked my 12 inches but this is one inch here okay so I marked it and got my waist but I added extra inches to it okay I added about extra some extra inches to my waist let me show you okay this is the waist of my skirt so I added some extra inches to it this is what I have my waist is my waist is 24 this is my waist 24 but here I have I have 34 okay that's extra 10 inches that's what I have on my waist here so apparently what that means is that here I added this is my waist I marked my waist and then I added extra 5 inches to it okay so you can add extra more why i added like that is so that because i want to overlap the skirt this skirt is supposed to be overlap the skirt is something like this it will come this way okay and come this way so it's overlapping so this extra i have here okay this extra i have here that is what this extra i have here that is what i use that is what I added extra five inches for. Okay, this overlap from here to here is five inches. From here to here is five inches. So you can do more depending on your waist. Okay, so that's how you do yours. So this is the extra five inches now. And then I marked from here to here to get my skirt length. From here to here to get my skirt length. To get my skirt length. To get my skirt length. Okay, and I connected it. You use your ruler to mark your tip to mark okay to mark it is like four inches all across okay so i marked it and then after getting this what anna did was to connect because i wanted an overlapping shape so i connected from somewhere around here i connected it i made a shape on it Okay. I went ahead and made this shape. Okay, so this shape you can see it here. You 
can see that this is not straight if you look closely you can see how here is all curved all curved up you can see it's not straight it's curved okay so that's what i did okay so from here from here to here is what i have from here to here okay and then this curve is what i now have here so it depends on how much curve you want okay it's the same thing i did at this side i just folded it together and did it so what we have here shorter is because i need some place here which i'm going to show us okay so i went ahead and cut it out okay so this is what we have now as my skirts so if i open it up i have something looking like the shape that the skirt has so what i now did was for that pleated area okay i picked one of the edges which is this edge and then i pleated it okay i made pleating on it remember this is a paper okay so if it's a fabric here it's supposed to be way longer and everything so when you make as enough pleat as you want you get it okay so this is it what we have here okay this pleat we have here i'm going to show you this is what that's what we have here remember this is a fabric this is paper and this is fabric that is why we have much pleating here okay so when you're using your fabric you have as much pleating there as well so this is it this pleating this is what we have here okay and this remaining part is what we have here and this curve is what we have here so that is basically how i cut this skirt so i'm going to go ahead and tape all my edges okay i will tape all my edges this is my edge so i'll tape here this edge i'll tape it all around all around i'll tape all around i'll tape this way you can see how to tape i used pin i folded it into two okay picked it fold into two and then i pinned it up okay so that's what i'm going to basically do I'm going to go ahead and sew it and then this part I'll run a stitch to hold it in place okay I'll do that and come back and show us what it looks like all right so I've gone ahead to sew it okay I've sewn it all around and this is what it looks like and this part I secured it okay the pleated part I secured it and then all around I folded okay this is just it this is just what it looks like all around and this is my waist area okay this is what my waist looks like i did not fold my waist okay so this is my band i've gone ahead to join it okay you can see i've joined it to make a very long strap okay this band i just cut it straight Alright, so I'm going to measure it to see what I have all together. Alright, so all together I have 132. So you can make yours longer or shorter. It's all up to you and the fabric you're working with. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fold it into two. Okay, because I want to get the middle point of this waistband because i'll be attaching it to my skirt so i want to get the middle part now i'm going to notch it all right to get my middle part is very necessary if not you your your waistband will not be equal now because i'm going to fold it into two this way and attach it to the waist of my skirt so i'm going to secure that part i notched and then i'm going to measure half my waist on both sides okay so let's cross check our waist remember i said my waist is 24 and i added some extra inches for overlap so what i'm going to do now is to place half of 
the whole measurement. My waist is 24 plus the 10 inches I added, that is 34. So divided by 2, 17. So I'm measuring 17 on both sides, okay? That's just what I'm going to do. Just see, follow through the process, okay? So 17 on both sides and I will notch it because I need to get an accurate measurement, an accurate point when attaching, okay? And just like I did it to this part, I'll go ahead and do it on the other part too. So please guys, don't forget to like, share my videos, leave me a thumbs up, comment, and also please subscribe to my channel. It's very, very important to me because it gives, it motivates me to keep doing more videos for you to learn from. So I'm going to make a shape at the tip of my waist, but this is very optional. You can decide not to you can decide to make it straight like that okay so it's all up to you okay guys sorry for the noise at the background this noise is from my dog i'm very sorry so i'm going to be sewing it okay i'll sew it and stop at that waist part where i notched that is half the waist measurement part okay you can see where i pinned it that's half that's where half the waist measurement stopped so i'm going to sew it and stop there and then i'll move over to the other part too and do the same thing starting from where half the waist measurement stopped okay i'm going to sew again you can see i'm going to start there again and sew to the very end as well start from this half the measurement waist again and sew all the way to the end okay i'm going to also make that shape I did at the other part at this part of my waistband okay this waistband is really long that's so that when I tie it it's going to drop and give a beautiful look okay so I've gone ahead to sew it okay and I'm going to trim it I'm, I'm I'll also show you what I meant by the sewing so you can understand okay so I've gone ahead to sew it now i'm trimming okay i'm going to trim off it's necessary to trim off every excesses because it will make your waist bulky okay so that's it you can see then i'll go ahead and trim the other part as well so that it won't be bulky when i flip it out okay that's the reason why you trim off all right so that's it I'm going to go ahead and flip it this came with my sewing machine my manual sewing machine so i'm using it to flip you can use whatsoever you want to use in as much as it can pass through okay just go ahead some people use broomstick some people use uh, iron and there's also a tool for it so it's all up to you whatever you want to use just go ahead and flip it out just the way i'm doing okay at this point you can go ahead and iron but honestly guys there's no time i'm making this get for myself and i thought of filming it so <laughs> i'm not i'm leaving my ironing to the very last point okay so i'm leaving it to the very last i'll go ahead and press everything all together okay so you can see the part of the waist now that i didn't sew you see okay you can see the part of the waist that i did not sew that is the middle part i've taken out the pin i used to hold the middle part now i'm going to go ahead and attach it to the waist of my skirt okay and to attach it i need to also get the middle point of my skirt so i'll just fold my skirt into two and then i will notch the center of it very important so that i can align the center of my waistband to the center of my skirt and then because we measured half of the waist on both sides it will now align okay so just watch what i am doing right here as i'm pinning it just watch so guys please leave me a like a comment a share share with your friends if you are making this skirt for a plus size please make your flay fuller i made an angled flay for this okay more like folding on bias if you're making for a plus size please increase it make it fuller don't use an angled flay please you can use a half circle it's way better so it can come out wider for you okay i'm a very slim person so 
folding on angle is just perfect for me but someone who is way bigger than i am can make your circle much fuller okay so that's it i'm gonna head to attach my waistband our skirt is almost ready guys it's almost ready i've gonna head to attach it okay this is what it looks like i'll go ahead and weave this part of my skirt okay i'll weave it all up and show you okay so this is what it looks like after i've finished weaving it so our skirt is almost ready guys i'm going to go ahead and give this a super super good press all right so guys if you're making this skirt for a plus size please don't use an angled flare like i used i'm on a very slim side if you're making for a, a much bigger size person a plus size person please increase your flay you can make a 180 degree flay or 90 degree mine is more like a 45 degree flay okay so it increases yours so i'm going to give all my edges everywhere a good press so that it will all be straight and neat and also the fabric you use please try to use a fluffy fabric not too soft not too light so this is what our skirt looks like thank you for staying with me to the end of the class see you next time bye and please subscribe to my channel love you guys